Hey folks, how's it going? Welcome back again, and today we're going to be doing the final video in the case building portion of this build vlog. Uh, as you remember in the last video we left off at the primer stage. Uh, today I'm going to be finishing it off, we're going to be going over all, the co all of the paint stages, the pro uh, clear coating stages, the wet sanding stages, the polishing stage, and, the, and uh, after it's been all waxed up and nice and clean. So, let's go ahead and get into it, and we'll be right back and we'll start this. So, here we are, where we left off last time with, after it was uh, primered up and wet sanded. Uh, I've added two addition, additional holes to it. That one there is for all the rear cables, like say your HDMI and your DVI ports. Uh, this is the coating that I did on the interior. This is a spray-on truck bed liner uh, for durability, sound dampening, and that matte black finish. Uh, that's the quick steel that I used to seal up all the corners and edges. Um, I really wish I would have used another solution for that. There's those ugly bars I put on the bottom to, to fix the bowing issue that I had from overheating it. Um, I tried to get this quick steel in a nice, to make it look kind of like it was a weld, like, you know, push it with my fingers, make it look like a stack of dimes. Um, but that's basically all I can say about the interior of the case for now. And another wide shot of the exterior. And then I spray, went ahead and sand, wet sanded it with some 1500 grit. And then we went into four coats of black all around the exterior, make sure everything's coated, start with the edges first of course, make sure you get all the under undersides of your holes, and then of course wet sanding again, this time with 3000 grit. Now take, take note to this stage here, because I'm going to reference back to it again, so make a mental note of this stage, but that's 3000 grit sandpaper that I'm using and a little bit of soapy water to wet sand. And it's got a total of eight coats of black with wet sanding in between. And then this here is four coats of clear all around the outside again, starting with the edges and working your way in. And then that got wet sanded again with 3000 grit sandpaper. And then we went in for four more final coats of clear. And of course, wet sanding again with 3000 grit sandpaper. So there's a lot of sanding going on here. And here's what it looks like after you're done wet sanding your clear coat. Um, you can see all the imperfections in the metal there. Make sure you take note to those too, because I'm going to be referencing back to them. But after you're done wet sanding, it's, you're going to have this, uh, this matte kind of brushed appearance to it. Uh, the clear coat is still there, but all you really did was you smoothed all the orange peel down. The surface of the, of the clear coat is actually very, very smooth at this stage. So this is where, you were gonna, where you're going to get into... Uh, your polishing, which is going to bring that shine back to it, just like this. Now I'm using an air drill and a, and a polishing disc, but an electric drill will actually do just the same. And then after that, of course, I gave it a nice coat of wax, and this is the final product. Look at that shine. Got nice, wet, mirrory finish to it. Now if you take notice to the, uh, the, the, the coating, though, you'll still see a little bit of orange peel into it. Remember that wet sanding stage that I told you to remember? We're going back to that now. I apparently did not wet sand it enough. Uh, I did not uh, sand that coat of black down smooth enough, so now the that orange peel is showing through. Um, and the only way to fix that would be to sand the entire thing back down and start over from scratch, which that it was not an option for me at this time. So that's where we stand now with the case, as it's all cleared and shined and waxed. Um, as far as that quick steel is concerned, on the interior, I believe I mentioned this before, I tried to push it a little bit so it looked like a, you know, a stack of dimes lined up, like it was an actual professional weld. It turned out, mm, eh, okay. I'm not too happy with it, but I'm satisfied. You're not gonna really going to see it anyway, once the cup components are all in there and I have a top on it. Um, now, I I did, again, I wish I would have sanded down that black coat again, but over, overall, I believe, the, I think that the, I'm satisfied with the way that the finish look turned out. I think it turned out nice, it's shiny, it's smooth, it's got that wet look to it, and I'm overall satisfied like that. 
Now, as I said again, um, if I was ever to do this case again, like say if any of you guys wanted a case like this, I would have actually cast it out of aluminum so that way it's all one piece. I wouldn't have to go around and weld anything together and I, wouldn't, I, would, I, would, I would avoid that whole bowing problem I had when I was welding everything together to begin with. Um, and as far as what's in, what is uh, in store for it and what's, in, what's, up, what's going to be coming up next is the, uh, the vacuum forming. I have my, uh, my material coming in. I'm getting 0909 PETG. Um, it's about eh, two, you know, very, it's very, very thin. It's less than less than an eighth of an inch thick. I'm going to be using that to be vacuum forming the um, radiator and fan assembly. So that way, there's going to be a clear shroud over it, but it's going to be painted inside black. Uh, the same thing for the motherboard and the graphics card. So as you can see, I'm going for this uh, clear over black type of, of a you know color scheme to it. Uh, like the tubing is to be clear, I'm using excess PC, black dye, um, so that's the type of appearance and effect that I'm looking for, and I'm, I'll be going for. So stay tuned for because uh, for tomorrow, because hopefully tomorrow or Saturday I'll have the video up for the vacuum forming, so you guys can get get a look at that. And also make sure you stay tuned for the uh, the custom water blocks I'm working on. I believe I have enough copper put together, thanks to a buddy of mine. Thanks, Mike for uh, hooking me up with some scrap copper he had. I'm going to be melting that down and casting custom water blocks for the motherboard and the graphics card. Uh, stay tuned for that. And then we're going to have the uh, final assembly to go through. I'm going to make sure you got, I'm going to walk through all of that, make sure you get all that nice on footage so everybody can see it. We're going to have it all together. You know, we're going to do some overclocking and some benchmarking with some temperature results, see if those water blocks that I make are actually a worthwhile, viable option. Um, and also, I still have to make the uh, the top of the case. I haven't done anything for the top. Um, this is where I where you guys can come in and help me out with it. Uh, I needed to figure out what I'm going to do as far as the top. Whether I want just a, a clear top, you know, either acrylic or um, tempered glass, or say if I want like a solid top but like individual windows, one over the graphics card, one over the motherboard, and one over the fan and radiator assembly, or maybe we can do like an L-shaped window or maybe some sort of like a bordered window. Um, there, you know, there's so many options out there. But I, was, I was even thinking of getting some, uh, some, like, uh, some gas struts, so that way it would actually, the top would actually lift up you know, on its own. Like, you, know, you, you push it down, click, click, and the thing lifts itself up so you can get to the inside. I think that would be really cool. Um, but leave, make sure you leave your comments in the, uh, in the comments section. We can start, start, a, start a discussion on that, see what, uh, see what we can come up with, with some, for some ideas. So I guess that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Make sure you guys stay tuned again, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Then out.